My wife really loves her KitchenAid mixer, and I gotta say it's a really nicely made machine. <clears throat> so when it started leaking some funky brown black fluid, blech, not working with that, we decided to go ahead and fix it. So I'm just taking a nail here and I'm punching out the little cutter or pin that holds the planetary gear assembly in place. This will allow me to remove the planetary gear assembly. But before we do that, we have to take off a discussion plate. Uh, with this plastic tool, I didn't want to damage the finish on the machine at all. Uh, so this allows us to pull that whole planetary gear assembly out. And you can see the lovely black uh, goop that's left inside. Don't forget to keep the washer and remember where it goes. There's a little seal that goes onto that shaft. Uh, I'll show you later how to get that off. At this point, we take out the, what, seven screws, really nine screws. There's two in the back as well. The back plate comes off with three screws, pretty easy to get to. And there's the two screws that let the top casing free uh, to pull away from the bottom of the casing. Just take this plastic tool again and you can pop that right off. You can see all the nasty goop that's up in there. Uh, that grease is just breaking down, making oil that's leaking out of the machine. So now we can start cleaning up. You'll use a lot of paper towels on this. Um, get most of it off if you can. <clears throat> And uh, at this point, you can see the center shaft here is being held in uh, by that seal we talked about earlier. I used the little pick tool to pull that seal out. I saved it uh, to use it later on because it really wasn't leaking. Uh, the leaking was coming around other places in the machine. All right, so I pulled that off and set it aside uh, carefully, making sure I don't lose it. And now I can pull that center shaft out. Uh, with that out, I can also pull the gears, the main gears out. Uh, and then again, there's a washer under that that you'll want to keep a hold of. Uh, we'll pull this gear assembly out as well. Uh, it's really the only good way to get that thing completely cleaned um, and ready to put new grease in. At this point, we're gonna, I'm going to use Crisco oil and a little pan. I'm going to soak all these gears. Uh, to kind of loosen up all the crud and brush it down with the tooth toothbrush. It lets me get into the little nooks and crannies and get all those gears nicely cleaned up. There's the planetary. Then I take a Q-tip and uh, get all the detailed gook out of the machine as much as possible. Um, then I'll take that toothbrush again and clean the lower gear assembly. Uh, mine was in really good shape. It really didn't look like it had any wear on it at all. Um, I am now uh, blowing out all the gear assemblies just to make sure that everything is clean. Here's the, the grease I used. It's a food safe grease and you could use it on the whole, uh, basically the whole machine. That's what it's built for, made for. You really want to pack this grease in nicely into the gears. Um, it's important to get down into the little grooves and nooks and crannies uh, of all the gears so that it really does lubricate properly um, over time. All right, so we're packing all these gears full of grease, as you can see here. Uh, it's a messy, messy job. This whole job is a bit messy. So if you don't want to get your hands dirty, uh, you might take it to somebody uh, that doesn't mind doing that. So there's a little pin that engages with that top gear. Uh, just put that back in place. Lube up your gears completely. Uh, and here you can see that washer I was talking about, the thrust washer uh, or bearing or whatever you want to call it. Um, Go ahead and put that center shaft in. That's where the seal goes. Just kind of place that in there with the pin and it presses down uh, nice and snug. Now we'll put in the little gasket or put 
back the little gasket that I was talking about uh, and put the rest of the gears back in place. You can see that uh, you really want to make sure everything's nice and tight and make sure you use all the grease in that tub. Four ounces is about what this machine really requires. Um, so go ahead and pack that in there real tight. Uh, again, this is food safe grease. Don't forget to pack your uh, gears and bearings on the top hatch or the, the top assembly where the motor is. Um, make sure that worm gear has got plenty of uh, lube on it. There's a new gasket I'm putting in. The old one looked like it was probably okay, uh, but I went ahead and placed it. Once you've got that, you can put it together and clean it up. So I just used scrubbing bubbles on it. it worked really well. And at this point, I just uh, gave it a nice start. You'll hear kind of a, uh, a kind of a squishy clicking sound, not really a clicking sound, but a, a sound of grease running around those gears. That's pretty normal. Um, this did run pretty nice and actually sounded exactly like it did when we first bought it. So uh, the whole project turned out really well and I didn't have any leaks of any kind of uh, glop. So here are the tools that you're going to need. Pretty basic tools. Um, the, the nail is kind of the odd bell, ball to poke that pin out or knock that pin out. Um, but uh, it's not a hard job. Just take your time, take lots of pictures and take it step by step and you'll probably have it done in a couple of hours. All right. Thanks for watching.